Our guest is journalist Idrakia Basel. Today, Ashura Day is celebrated in Azerbaijan. You visited the various mosques of Azerbaijan as journalists. What's your impression? Azerbaijan is an Islamic country. Ashura ceremony was celebrated in Azerbaijan as every year. Ashura ceremony was commemorated in the area where Shia Muslims live, especially in Baku. We visited several mosques together with several journalists. We observed Ashura ceremony in the village of Baku. I always participate in the ceremony as a journalist and individual. There were more people who participated in the ceremony in comparison with previous years. There is another issue that I observed. People beat their back with chains on the day of Ashura. I'm not an expert on religious issues. I don't know that if is it right or not. According to my observations, I saw these issues. Religious heads of Azerbaijan called upon people not to damage themselves. It would be better to donate blood to sick and poor people. Did you see such companies? Yes, I saw such companies in several mosques and other places, especially in Tezapir Mosque. It's a terrible company. I'd like such companies are conducted in Nardaran and other places. If a person is pilgrim and believes in God, one knows that body was given for safe, uh, safekeeping and it's unpardonable scene to hurt one's body. You visited Nardaran Mosque. How was company organized? The problem is that we expected protest action after the decision issued by the Ministry of Education to ban the hijab against pupils in secondary schools. We visited not only Nardaran Mosque but also the situation before the Ministry of Education, this place is under the policy supervision. We thought that action would be conducted in Nardaran. However, a Shura ceremony was being held. We heard religious sermons, including political challenges. Slogans on li liberating lands of Karabakh were sounded. Slogans on we won't give up the hijab were proclaimed. People who mounted tribune were pilgrims. They, they were more emotional on hijab issue. I looked through women religious clothes. There's a lot of diversity. Some people put on clothes in Sarju, Iran, Af Afghanistan style. There were women who were headscarfed. It's interesting. How did you see this spectrum? I'm not an expert on religious issues. That's why I cannot say exactly regarding religious clothes. I recognize scarf worn over the head. There were such women there. There were not a lot of women who worn scarf over their head. Azerbaijan has its national clothes. Our grandmothers have national clothes. We are going to our village and see the national clothes there. Although I am not specialist on religious issues, I know that our national clothes are conforming uh, to religious demands. There are women who wear clothes not conforming to Islam and any religion. If, if, if this right is recognized for these women, rights of women who wear well should be recognized too. I see women who don't wear well in Nardaran. Is there endurance among the people? Of course, they are there. I remember that guests came from foreign country two years ago. I took them to Nardaran. People, especially pilgrims in Nardaran, were described as fearful people for them. They also visited Nardaran. They don't have endurance for women who wear openly. I have daughter. I don't want her wear a veil. However, if she wants to wear a veil, she has right to wear it. How was composition? How do you evaluate participation of children and girls wearing whale in such ceremonies? Parents' duty that they should not bring up their children in according to religious customs, but I don't know about it. People are right from this point of view. I'm against children who wear whale. I saw children who are six and eight, seven years old and have chained to beat they are back. I'm against participation of children in these ceremonies. I also saw those children with six and seven years old who sold newspapers. Are there a lot of people in the campaign of donating blood? I'm a journalist. I know about Sheikh. People who live in the regions follow Sheikhs 
For, for instance, if they said that this day is sacrifice holiday, they will catch sacrificing animal. If they told people that donate blood and beat your back with chain, people will do this. This is carried out only in the South region. This is carried out not only in South regions, but also in Baku. Especially, this is carried out in the regions where Shia sleep. How was public security organized? Explosion was set off in the Shia mosque in Iran. A lot of people died. Apparently, God feels sorry for us. There are 7,000 people in Nardaran. Police could not inf interfere in people in Nardaran because of religious belief is strong there. Thank you for coming to our studio today. My guest was journalist Idrakia Basov. Thank you. Thank you.